Welcome back, my fellow camp lovers, to TNO, The Losses of Europe. I'm your host, Tam Okalova, or Mr. Camp Director, but Iberia, the half-breed state. Nowhere is a curse of lacking one Volk and one leader in one nation more apparent than in the mongrelized and artificial state of Iberia. Even after decades of pathetically inefficient joint rule by the two Cadillos, there have been any real formation of an Iberian national identity. The Portuguese loathe the Spanish, and the Castilian Spanish loathe the Portuguese almost as much as they loathe the various minorities in their nation, who loathe them right back. It seems the only ones who the whole peninsula can agree to loathe are the natives and the colonies, and the concept of competent government. With a strong state seen in our olden stadt, Iberia fumbles in the dark, always at the brink of a miserable violence. Like a house of cards, all we need to do is give one little push on the right card, and it'll all come crumbling down to be completely certain. We will make sure to give it a few extra pushes as well in various locations to really contribute to the chaos, and it will be glorious. But right now... As one of the comments from yesterday said, do not forget about the education program, which I think out of all these, as much as we want to go down here and do this as fast as possible, and we don't need to do the African war stuff, and as much as I want to do investigations as much as possible, we're now done with the global plan Condor, so we'll talk about it in a little bit. So I want to rush Bildung's program so we can get some more correct, approved, superior culture. The Olden Shot is the only place where the Aryan Deuterinos is protected. Its bloodlines are kept rigorously pure. The Aryan may be born pure, but that does not mean they remain so. Just as the Untermensch must be taught about that they are wretched, so the Aryan must be taught that they are pure. We must ensure that the future generations of the high and low races are made greater in rule and in service, in glory and humility, in strength and silence, and the degenerate legacy of our forebears have left them. The SS Schulungs und Kulturamt have only nominally been within our pure view, full of independently minded servants of national daddyism, doing essentially yet often ignored work. Now, we are making right this discrepancy. Ignorance is an enemy as ill-bred and repugnant as any Bolshevik menace, and slaying this beast or worse, the beast of false truth, is a fight worthy of the true Aryan. The mind is a battleground between what is what the weak proclaim true and what the strong know is correct. We must give our teachers every weapon we can to win this fight, and this for this is a battle for the soul of the Oldenstadt, and Aryans never lose. And with locks domestic education issues, then enable a natural national indoctrination and spend it on decisions to make states loyal to Hitler. Who doesn't love that? I love it. So with the thing regarding um Iberia. So with this national spirit, we can technically complete it, especially well, they will fall apart eventually. So I will cancel this when we run out of more supplies. But I would at least like to do arrange a false flag. Have you ever arranged a false flag? Probably not in real life, but this sounds like a lot of fun. That seems really cool to do. Don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, that's not bad. I do want to do this as much as possible. So we can shut down French schools. We get more national indoctrination. Uh, let's see. It's academic base what goes worse. Everall is currently 24. I hope it goes up a little higher. Ease SS fears. Lose indoctrination. Receive a crisis and bonus ability. Get more loyalty, though. So maybe that's not too bad. 24. I don't mind doing poverty relief just because we get more stability. But even though we saw that last time, it didn't really help us out that much. So it is what it is. Quite a bit of lag, but whatever. So we're... Oh. Keep that open. Please keep that open. 24, thank you very much. Bildung's program, the new program, the new history. Ah, he who controls history event. The present chronicles of history as understood by the French are deeply flawed. They are the product of centuries of propaganda and revision of real history lies, meant to serve the interests of French nationalism and to demonize the Reich and defy, or, or de defy, no, defy, the corrupt virtues presuppose upon the French people. Generations of lies have deluded the French of their true racial heritage, their true spiritual identity, and their true purpose as a people. Our task, succinctly, is to set the record straight. We will educate the children of the French countryside and re-educate their parents to the truth of not only their own history, but also the true state of the world. History, science, arts, and culture. They are deluded to the reality of them all, and it falls to us to shine the light upon their eyes whether they would like to be shown it or not. Their misunderstandings will be rectified, and the most malleable of them shall be reshaped into good Burgundian citizens, loyal servants of the state, and children of the Vaterland. The rest will have less desirable fates. So be it. They chose it. Very good. Oh, the end. Oh, look, and Everall actually still at 24, huh? I thought it was supposed to go up. We can, oh, we can raise loyalty. Look at that. We will lose some stuff. State to the lowest will lose support, will gain loyalty. Move around SS officers. We will lose some more national indoctrination, gain some more support, lose some support. All right, the end. Each SS fears mass arrests become more popular if we do arrests. Or do that. Um, I mean, that stuff is all... Charlemagne... Uh, I mean, that's nice for loyalty. But move around officers, that's okay. Uh, I like the poverty relief. I really do. Can you imagine Burgundy just has the best... Like, no poverty there? I mean, that, I guess it would make sense for what they're trying to do, but... Mm. 
And it is April, so increase after capabilities. Oh, maybe we should probably do this one. Let's see. Intelligence gain 11, suspicion is 1. We do have this one here, an insulated HQ. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. There's some more of that. And what do we want to do? Do we want to confiscate their files, search their dumpster, bug the communications? Um, probably bugging the communication sounds best. How much success do we have? Let's go to 85. There you go. Operation authorized. Thank you. Nice. And do we really care what's going on here? Not too much. Yeah, we, we did. We, we, oh my goodness. The whole camp situation here. It, it's, it's a bit extreme, we'll say. We need more of a workforce, but, you know, I'll just say, we definitely get results. We definitely get results. God, I want to do a false flag so badly. 23 supplies, not bad. New history is not too bad either. Wow, look at that. That's pretty bad. Oh, well. Clean, oh, cleanse mistakes, erase a degeneracy. Burgundian erudentism. Oh, yes. Forcibly converting states to, to Burgundian culture. Oh, it's a new month. Did we get anything else here new? Oh, look at those. We'd, we'd be an arm, arming stuff, but that's okay. Anything else different here? Not really. I mean, I guess Pickout Din has quite a few guys, but you now expand the cities. A successful investigation is always pretty darn nice. Oh, wait, hold on. That's a bit too many guys. Yeah, there you go. Very good. Keep putting them in Rodomo. Uh, let's go up to... That's good enough. Why is it 55 officers now? Huh. Odd. Okay, well, whatever. Mm, nope, nothing down there I really care about. Questionable. Yeah, I'm not even going to look this month. That's fine. Cleanse mistakes. Scientific accomplishments of the French people are a category of scientific advancements best understood as a sideshow compared to the genius innovations made by Aryan scientists. Since the unification of the Reich generations ago, our people have led the world in advancements of technology, philosophy, and all facets of human knowledge. It is not just misunderstandings of the course of history that need to be amended in the minds of the French, but also all of the other aspects of human knowledge in which our people have excelled, which is to say, all of them. It is... Time for the new citizens of Burgundy to forget all they know of the likes of Voltaire and learn of the wisdom of Boimler and Heidegger. Yes, hoo hee, hoo hee, hoo hee. I will mispronounce all the time. He who controls history, though. If we're going to cleanse the French of the Latin stains of old Gallia, we must help them see the true proud past of the Franks, the old Germanic conquerors who would eventually degenerate into the current Frenchmen. As long past due to bury historical relics like Posthumus and Sagrius, I'm so, I know I'm saying these wrong, but uh, Sagris, and focus on teaching the Untermensch of the conquering glory of Schlodwig and Karl Martel. Our opinions are divided on how to present the totality of French history. And the most recent histories of centuries will be, of course, only be quickly skipped through, since France was a slave of the great enemy in that time. While the mainstream view of the Office of Education is that we should disregard the times before Karl de Gross and circus French history as a matter of, how, of slow decline of order and greatness because of the monarchs gradually intermarrying with the Latins and mongrelizing their blood until they became weak enough to be toppled by the, by the Judeo-Jacobins in 1789. The Office of Annenerba disagrees. Over the, their, over the course of the research, and the lost history of the Aryans, they believe to have discovered documents purporting the Jews engineered the splitting of the realm of Karl de Grossa, bringing low the ancestors of the First Reich. This would certainly explain why the French failed to purge their Jews during the Crusades like their German counterparts. The Annenerba thus suggests that French history after the West Frankish lords turned their back on the German language and culture in the 19th century should be quickly skipped through as an age of darkness prior to the light brought to their land by the long lost German cousins in the 40s. To make up for the loss and approved curriculum, they instead suggest classes on the true old Aryan uh, of the true old Gaul, the Celts, mighty wars believed to be a partial Aryan heritage before the Romans polluted their blood. What shall be our decision on the matter of the curriculum? The Judeo Jacobins are the first definitely proven enslavers of France, or you cannot trust more recent history. Versing Tory and Charlemagne it is. Accessibility. Ooh. Loyalty? Ooh, that's a lot of loyalty though. That's a lot of loyalty. Ooh, which means we will weaken non human loyalty by zero. Uh that's not good. Poverty relief. I don't want to lose this stuff, but yeah, we'll do why not. Shut down French schools. Um we get more national indoctrination. Do it. I don't really care about the societal stuff right now. Um is there a way we can see the loyalty? Because I'm sure there's a way, right? Like, obviously, we can see the map up here. And the loyalty, 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 loyalty. So, Versailles. I mean, it's pretty loyal, but getting even more would not be bad. Eh, Judeo-Jacobins, right? Oh, well, that's 110 now. Wow. Now they're very loyal. 
and after that we shall have rested degeneracy. An accident of history, the Belgians have not existed long or enjoyed a great enough homogeneity to cultivate a true national ethos of their own. Instead, the French-speaking and Flemish-speaking people of former Belgium have their own conceptions of the world, similar to those of their linguistic neighbors. Is it the, is it the former of these, the Walloons, for whom similar efforts must be made against, as against the former nationals of France? The same perversions endemic to the French also infect to varying degrees the French speakers of Belgium, and the descendants of the Belga should not be immune from our efforts to purify the minds of the old and shots more destitute peoples and turn them into proper Burgundians. More indoctrination, very good. Very good. Anything else right here that we really care about? We can non him the loyalty by 15 a month. Not bad, not bad. So that's one we we're trying to do as much as possible. I'm ignoring Redomo for now, and it is June. Um, I still can't be cared to really care about all this stuff right now, just because, yeah, we've done really well here. We've done very well. Um, yeah. You know what? That's a bit too high for me. There you go. Yeah, we're, we're really efficient with our camps. If you're not efficient, what's the point of doing it, right? Because yeah, you're still learning. Maybe. Potentially. And now, we're going to cancel this. We have only nine supplies left. But new Burgund. Dr. Kaiser uh, observed with relief the installation of the sign announcing the reopening of Der Rennungshalle SS, the former Pantheon in West Paris. It was the last major monument to be renamed in the newly occupied Parisian sector. When the SS WVHA announced that they would begin renaming the streets and monuments in commemoration of the West's security expansion and the liberation of the peoples from there from the corrupt French regime, Caesar had been more worried than he had ever been since his meeting with the Reichsführer. While in and of itself renaming streets, towns, and monuments was nothing new in the olden shot, this was just the first time it was done to this extent in such a short time. In just a few weeks, thousands of names have been changed in hundreds of towns all across the new territories, and even some parts of the old that had been left alone thus far, earning the barely concealed ire of millions of Frenchmen, and whose name was front and center of the propaganda surrounding the renamings, who was brought out to the whole speeches at all the major renamings, certainly not the head of the WVHA. He had been buggered off the renaming committee the second he realized how unpopular this was going to be with the lower classes and the Charlemagne division. That left Dr. Dr. Kaiser head of the SS Office for Education and Culture, the SUCA, as the highest ranked member on the committee. The SUCA was already unpopular enough because of its announcement of new educational reforms to promote Germanic culture in the new regions of the Oldenstadt, and with the disappearance of the Secretary for Untermensch Education, Kaiser had no one to take the blame off of him until the Hauptamt, Hauptamt appointed somebody new. Once he finished a short speech and shaking hands with the mayor of West Paris, the head of education hurriedly walked to the staff car, trying not to scan the uniforms of the SS guards too closely for Charlemagne badges. However, even as he drove away, he could not shake his worry. He passed by the carefully arranged rows of cheering German settlers, celebrating the renaming, and saw the mainstay of the crowd. Herded out on the streets by the SS to ensure that in official photos, it looked like the cheering crowds numbered in the thousands. The local Parisians had the usual look of disappointment and worry. However, unlike the, in Osparis, in these crowds, Kazo could still spot the odd face twisted by rage and hatred, looking at his car with his bald fists. Uh... Driver, please speed up. Uh, academic base gets worse. We will further lose control of the region. Versailles. Hmm. Well, we should have taken that other the loyalty stuff later on, though. But still. Vision. Shaft. Well, the main part of the educational reforms had focused on the social science, social sciences. For obvious reasons, we cannot like, get so caught up in humanoria that we lose sight of the regular sciences. We have a space in our mainland, our mandated learning plan for one more subject. We only have to decide which subject from the Aryan learning plan should be present in the Untermensch learning plan. The Office of Education and Culture wants us to teach applied chemistry to the children, to address the shortage of skilled labor our chemical industry is facing. The Annenerba suggests teaching them ge genealogy. By allowing the children to explore their own ancestors, it will help them immensely in tracking Aryan genetic dispersal in the French population and help locate potential future recruits of the SS. The Schulungs Officiera will, of course, inspect the children's handlings very carefully for signs of racial pollution, especially names associated with the great enemy. Finally, Dr. Kaiser recently received an unsigned letter marked with a Valkenut, slid under his door by someone unknown. It suggests teaching the children Ariosophy will make them more compliant by showing them the occult and divine powers of the master race. What, sh what shall we promote? Ariosophy may be unorthodox, but like, but nicely replaces uh, religion class. Educators receive a boost in daily political power gain. I like that. Uh, do we actually have a, a bonus here? Let's take a look. Educate. Oh, we do. We do. Uh, academic base hurts. Research speed. War support stability. Man, this all hurts. Genealogy will let the children contribute to our great effort. We'll receive a boost in academic base. Uh, chemistry class will help strengthen the future. Ariosophy might be unorthodox, but nicely replaces. Give me that pee pee. Nice. Now, we were hurting, but now we're, we're slightly better. Slightly better. And it's June. I don't really care about the whole... You know, worker situation, but Burgundian irredentism. 
far from a modern invention. The idea of a Burgundy actually predates the existence of the French Kingdom, and has been a feature upon the face of Europe more often since the 6th century that it has not been. This state's rifle domain, our state's rifle domain, extends from the Rhine to the Channel, and from the North Sea to the Alps. For many years now, this region, though geographically cohesive, has been divided between a plurality of countries and peoples, some superior to others. Is our moral duty as the most superior of all these arbitrarily dis disparate identities to collect together and racially purify the inhabitants of the region to make Burgundy the best, most pure and distilled, and most strong version of itself it has ever been? The people must know that if we are the, we are the herders of the sheep and shall lead those of the whitest wool to the greenest grass they have ever feasted upon. Very nice. And the land doctrine, as we established last time, is a finito. Music to my ears. The KVP has successfully lobbied the government to ban the performance production and... Oh, minor setback. That's not good. Uh, uh, sale and sharing of French music. But we have hit a snag in... The and what music to define as French. Music with French vocals should obviously be banned, but what about orchestral pieces? As most of the famous French orchestral musicians come from the Northeast and Iliad de France, the Ananaba believes many of the composers may have had significant Aryan blood. There is also the issue of the Reichsführer. He is fond of classical music, especially when in volatile moods. Banning a piece he enjoys might actually annoy him significantly. Is taking a hardline stance against French culture worth risking worsening his mood? Let's take a light touch with the orchestral pieces. Ban it all and make sure someone expendable signs of the orders. Oh, we get a boost in political power gain. Because right now, we're not getting any more, really. Um, if you want to read about this, about minor step back, please go right ahead. This must be uh, fixed. So we're going to do that. And actually, we'll just go and cancel Condor because we don't have enough political power. As much as I want to get more political power, I don't want to piss off uh, Himmler. So, nice. All right, so let's cancel this. Just because we're not, we're literally not getting any political power. Like, it says we're getting some, but we're literally not. So, I don't think I'm clicking on decisions here that really, yeah, like, I clicked on these, but it didn't do anything. So you have a bonus and stability. Ease SS fears. Actually, how much stability are we losing from this? None. We lost a lot of war support, though. Uh, but we we, get, we have to cancel it. I don't want, I don't want to do it, but we don't have supplies anyway, so it's okay. But let's go ahead and just keep boosting our supplies up and get ready for the next one because we already finished all the focuses. So oh, increase officer. Ca oh. Why not? A clan of find. The teacher smiled and gestured at the girl that she could sit. That's right, Annette. The Reich saved Europe from the great enemy because the old Fuhrer created the Schutzstaffel and ordered Reichsfuhrer Himmler to protect the Grand Revolt of the Aryan race against the dominion of the Jew. While the brave soldiers of the Waffen SS fought the Slavic hordes along to the Wehrmacht, the rest of the SS were fighting their own secret war with the great enemy, tracking them down, rounding them up, and sending them to. Clara? The. KZ Lager, where evil people go. Very good, Clara. Ever since the start of the new order in 1933, the SS has been rounding up evildoers and sending them to the KZ Lager. That is why you can walk the streets safe now and not worry about criminals stealing from you, Bolsheviks burning your home, or Jews talk taking you children away, like it used to be in the old days. Now, Peter, I know you have done your homework on the outside world. In the last few years, most of the SS has come here to, to the Oldenstadt because three great servants of the enemy have retaken control over the world after the death of the Old Fear. Which one of them is considered so dangerous to the Aryans and the French that he is often called the little enemy. LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson, who controls the endless money on Wall Street? Sukichi Tagagi, Lord of the Countless Hordes of Asia? Or Martin Bormann, who betrayed the Reich and the Aryan race? Ooh, I actually, we actually need some more war support, because that's actually pretty darn bad for us right now. Um, we need more Legion loyalty, too. But we're stuck at 36%. We got rid of the debuff. We can't get any, we literally can't get any more stability, which really sucks, because of the stupid Legion loyalty mechanic. So we need more war support. But I don't want to hurt my daily political power gain, even though it looks like we're like getting none. So, Ooh. well, regardless, we do get more war support. So, who cares about LBJ? Which is Sony to play at sometime. Mm. Bonus instability. Well, we can't get any more. Every own state gets more of that. Poverty relief. Well, we lose. Oh, I don't want to lose that. Shut down French schools. Vichy just up to Billy goes up by ten. So, right now, Vichy it has 11. 100? 150. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. We can keep doing that, but... Burgundian Eridentism. Rockin' Verbolten. The NSDAP and SS have both been trying to eradicate the foul practice of smoking ever since the early 30s, but with mixed results. After we took control of France, the situation has gotten even worse as the French really love their smokes, no matter how we ban it or how many cigarettes smugglers we shoot. Pacts keep showing up on the black market. It also doesn't help that those trusted SS personnel who are allowed to visit the nations of the pact and the Reich proper are almost without fault sneaking packs with them back. 
headed and boots and uniforms, sometimes even the luggage if they know of the border guards doing the searches. Division Charlemagne's French members share the nicotine addiction of the countrymen and are paying considerable sums to both black market dealers and their fellow SS for the chance to acquire a pack. Should we try to step up our crackdown on black market cigarettes, or is it a waste of resources to try to save the lives of mostly non-Germans who are too stupid to make healthy life choices? Smoking is bad for you. Hunt down the markets. Let Darren take the fools. The SS is strong for the, is for the strong and smart. Oh, I don't want her stability. But actually, don't we have a bonus to this? Um, we can get some more stability that way, right? Like. East SS Fears. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So do we actually receive the Malice? Yes, we do. But if we do this one, ease SS Fears. That's not good. Wait. So that so that so that's actually bugged then. Because... Oh, no, no, no. It's not, it's not bugged. It's because we have to wait for it to get done first. Blue Blood Welgen, Belgian Waffling. And actually, let's take a look at that one. That one's done. Almost... Okay, so that is bugged. That is literally bugged then. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, so some nobility which collaborated with the initial Hea occupation forces are still around in Walunin. They knew, to, they knew to keep their head down low after our takeover of the area and have brought their relative comfort with generous donations to the SS in terms of both money and sons for the Walloon Legion. However, now with the uncertain loyalty of the French speakers, the inner circle are almost in complete agreement with any potential rally points for independence movements must be eliminated or minimized, and that includes the old Belgian nobility. The hardliners in the cabinet argue all remaining titles of nobility should be abolished throughout the Orangestadt to show the Untermensch that they are all equally unworthy and that the only true nobility is a black knight of the SS. The moderates instead argue that we should mimic the old Teutonic Ordenstadt and replace all noble titles with Germanic ones granted by and revocable by the Rexfear. This means we can reward collaborators and punish the less enthusiastic using little more than empty words. What is our final decision? Empty German noble titles remind them who they serve. We only we are superior dissolve the houses, seize their estates, and send anyone who protests to the lager. Well, we can't get any more anyway, so and their legion loyalty is extremely questionable. So we're going to get hurt anyway, so we might as well lose more stability, right? I mean, there's nothing we can do. Right? So that's really stupid, but whatever. But, dealing with the legions? Uh, we'll do the new program. It's time for the reanalysis of the purpose of the education system. Children's schools do, do not exist purely to train the next generation of laborers, and universities do not exist to create a class of intelligentsia to become depraved and socially corrupt the other classes. All sources of information in the olden shot ought to serve the purpose of shaping the minds of those worthy of being educated to conform to the minds of a good Aryan, one who is loyal to his people and his Reich. As a counterpart to this, the more impure amongst us should still be educated. They should be taught about loyalty, taught about diligence, taught about the importance of allegiance to the Vaterland and the essential execution of good service to the rightful masters. A well-educated worker is best defined as one who fulfills his quotas and does not question the decrees of the Schutz Staffel, in which we will gain 20 in national indoctrination. Not bad. Uh, anything I really care about around here? Ooh. Uh, give me some more guys. We need to send them to Rodomo. Anything we really care about too much? No. Just a quick... Oh, actually, this one is not good. No, it's pretty good. Um, well, they just have barely 2,000 there, huh? Yeah, not bad. Send them to the Rodomo. You can't be bothered with them. Supply-wise, we still have only two. That's fine. Whatever. we got to save our PP. And we don't want to forget about... Oh, the WRF. Pieces of garbage. Nine, nine, 52 intelligence. Well, how about we do... Oh, look at this. What is this? Scramble radio signals. Oh. Interrogate the operators. Interference source. Yeah, let's see what's going on with the loons. We don't we don't have a lot of trust towards them. Let's see. Oh look at this. Good. Oh we can convert culture. Look at that. We need more national indoctrination. Uh when removed, well we will lose fifty. We'll raise loyalty by ten. Center state will have a big core. Oh, we get cores. Gain ten Himmler support. The susceptibility of the state is seventy five, adding a bonus to support on the state. Um the only place that has a bonus of uh gain ten Himmler support, the susceptibility of the state is seventy five. Well, let's use the center then, yeah. The core will gain ten the susceptibility is sixty six, adding a bonus to our Oh yes. Oh yes. So this is a center. It's currently French, but not for long. Oh, uh, let's cut this one down. Give it about a week. 
the grammar Nazism. Of course, so finally we see some grammar Nazism here. But I was oh, <gasps> ooh, Burgundian. Yes. Oh, I'm I'm loving this episode. But grammar Nazism. The German lesson was an unusually dull one for Peter, as, or Pierre, as his parents called him at home. The complexity of the German cases and intricacies of wrapping the tongue or his tongue around the harsh consonants of the true language was making Peter's head hurt, but the 11 year old knew better than to doze off from his lessons, the usual SS Schulung's officer. A jovial fat man who lived over the butcher the, in town had the last few weeks been replaced with a young, fish looking fellow with a wispy blonde mustache and the eyes of a hungry wolf. Man, I wish I could grow a mustache. The boy's eyes dwelt on the man just a moment, trying to determine what exactly about the wide mouth and flat nose made the young man so resemble a fish. Had it been the old Schulung's officer, he might have even allowed himself a slight chuckle, but this new one did not fall asleep or read a book like his predecessor. Peter had lived long enough to know the men in the black clothes and leather boots were at their most dangerous when alert and attentive like this one. The man suddenly yelled out in German, and Peter nearly jumped out of his chair, but the German's anger, sudden and then gone like a sugar ration on a Sunday, was directed at his teacher. The officer seized a big ruler by the blackboard and held it up at the whimpering teacher's cheek with it and began softly yet angrily speaking in a dialect of German. Peter struggled to follow. Name, dein name, Frankenscheisser. Geil Wilhelm, Herr Schulungs officer, Wilhelm Oberstadt, Oberstadt, aus Werder Siegerstadt. The conversation carried on for several tense moments, but as far as Peter understood, the issue revolved around whether the grammar the teacher, teacher was teaching was still right. When the officer seemed pleased, he removed the ruler from the teacher's cheek and turned to the sixty children in front of him. Besteht ihr Kinder? Hochdeutsch spricht das Herrenvolk und ihr seid nicht dagegen. Ihr werdet die Grammatik erlernen, die euch maden gebührt. Peter didn't know what he said, but every child in Burgundy knew the correct resp response to the expectant tone. Jawohl, Herr Officer. German, uh... Tenses are not that bad. I mean, it's been a long time since I've actually studied them, like the German you know, grammar, but it's not too bad. I've heard Spanish is much worse, but German, not too bad. That's why I chose it. Uh, okay. Lose further control of the region? No, that's not good. But, let's see. 75 is the center, which is good. I mean, as now will become a court, we'll gain 10 Himmler support. Uh, adding a bonus to our support in the state. Ah, eh, screw it. I, I don't... Actually... Before we do that, I want to see the population-wise, because coring stuff is going to be good. So, Center Sued would be really good. Population-wise, 400,000. Oh, Rhone is really good. I didn't know that that many people lived actually in Rhone. Um, Alpen, Alpen, Alpenland is not bad. So, we want to do probably Rhone and Center Sued. Yeah, we'll do Rhone, Center Sued. Why not? Oh, uh, well, I guess Rhone's not here. Well, I guess technically Rhone was already with us. Center Sued. And I guess it, it really doesn't matter. Just do it, that one. A mass arrest. We need more national indoctrination. Good. Poverty relief. We we'll, eh, that's okay. Become more unpopular. Move around some SS officers. No, we're good. Raise loyalty. Shut down the schools. They don't need them. Where they're going. This is fun. Hmm. Can I say that for this type of campaign? I'm having fun. It's a successful investigation. Very good. Pieces brought to Vietnam. Well, they're going to burn in nuclear hellfire eventually, so that's okay. Whatever. Gros Rond Paris. Not bad. Clear spaces. Orodomo. Infrastructure's already maxed out. That's already maxed out, so. Anything else here yet? Not yet. That's fine. Give it a little bit of time. We'll get there. A global plan cooler. Oh, we can actually see that, cool. So we got a couple months left. Uh, search for professors. Oh, yes, we could use national indoctrination. Yeah, so we'll do this one. Essential to the rendering of the French people and other indigenous peoples into a great Burgundian mass is the incorporation of the prominent figures among them who have earned the trust of the Reichswehr SS into positions of prestige. The people must see themselves in the party. They must look to, on the faces of those they knew to be French who now probably call themselves Burgundian and they admire and wish to emulate all those faces that they see. This shall be doubly true in the realm of academia. It will be difficult for a French student in Paris to deny that his people are best served as the denizens of the SS Oldenstadt Burgund when all of his trusted professors heartwarmingly proclaim as such. The next generation of thinkers on the sign will ponder on how and why their ancestors ever became so deluded and so removed from the truth as to call themselves French. God, if this was in Victoria too, I would probably play it too much. Uh, increase our arms. We're going to need to get a lot more um, supplies for what we're going to do next. Now, I don't, we don't have to do all these, um, but honestly, like... If whenever TNO2 comes out, like eventually, and and Russia's like all unified, and they go to war with the Germans, then I can just imagine just just a bunch of nuclear hellfire is gonna break out, which is totally good and what we want, but still, 
and we're going to win anyways. Basically, what we're trying to do here in Burgundy, if you didn't catch on, which I'm sure you guys already did, but uh, just trying to make bombs go boom. But we need, we really need to build our bunkers and stuff, which we're not there yet, but it is what it is. Ooh, no. Actually, we don't even have war support, so... But we lose command power, and I don't want to do that. Actually, could we increase this? You lose, what, 0.4 stability, pretty much? 0.6, maybe? Suspicion of will decrease. And they'll grow slightly more loyal. Can you get them to be even more loyal? How high can you get the loyalty? That might be worth doing if you can get it really high, but... Hmm. Poverty relief? Uh, flamethrowers. We do need... Shut down French schools. I, I don't care about academic base, as you can tell. It, it, that is not where we are headed. Well, if we can convert some culture. 24 support. 70 support's pretty good. Do have anything better? No, not really. So let's do... You get as many cores as fast as possible. But we will burn the old books. There's something beautiful about the simplicity of a good old-fashioned book burning. The authors of the world in which we now inhabit are too often a part of the destitute vermin that ought to not to propagate their filth onto the eyes of good-blooded men and women of Odenstadt. Their works are artifacts of old, disproved ideas, and conquered, defeated nations and ideologies succinctly. The words written on the pages do not deserve to ever be read. They have earned for themselves only the flame. All that remains is to decide precisely which books, by precisely which proscribed writers, ought to be made non-existent. It'll be better for us to purge the public libraries and private studies of our new conquest with the widest scope we can afford. Moderation in the face of corruption is no virtue. We only have five. That's fine. Shut down French schools. Uh, this is really bad we do this, but I don't really care. I want to convert these guys as much as possible. As fast as possible. We could grab some more of that, but we can wait. Uh, book burning. Who doesn't love a good book burning in the dead of winter? Well, it's getting colder, so I guess they need something to fire... Put fire... Fuel to their fires. Yeah. Fuel to their fires. We're still building. We're still... Oh, very good, very good. Keep building, building, building. Keep focusing on that, because now we're getting about 66 every day. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. Uh, let's spend our PP somehow. How are we going to spend our PP? Oh, blackmail Walloon. By exposing what we know to the Walloon, we'll be able to raise our loyalty through fear. You know what? I've not done that yet before. How are we in both open investigations? We only have 34. Oh, look at this. We found drugs. We found something else here. Is there anything else here? No. Oh, look at this. It's a car. Oh. No, not too much else. Let's do the drugs. We like drugs or drinks. For again, parties. If you want to about that, please go right ahead. And there's the next paragraph. A secret, secret cameras. Deep, uh, deep cover, uh, cover operatives. Tap the wire lines. Uh, maybe we catch something on the video. Tap phone lines. Um, I kind of want to tap the phone lines. That's as much as we got. 83% still pretty good. That's still B, right? Nice. Now, I want to know it's questionable, but how much is questionable? Raise their loyalty through fear. Oh, I mean, we could try it once. Counterintelligence against them. I really don't want to lose stability. I don't mind losing some political power now, so I'll we'll try it. Why not? Let's try it. So when removed, then they'll be maybe slightly higher, but what we see may not be exactly what we get. Uh, I don't want to lose political power, but I'm going to do it anyways, because we're going to need supplies for the next plan, because it takes a lot of supplies to get through the plans. Other than that, what else we have here? Not too much else. We need to convert some culture. But uh, Jean Mabir in every school. Amongst the most loyal to our project from amongst those of the French stock is the writer Jean Mabir, an artful and verdant defender of the right of the Aryan race to proclaim his dominion over the fields of Europe. His <clears throat> admiration of the SS, in particular, set apart from and above the forces of the Reich, has earned him the favor of the Reich Führer SSs ever since the defection from the Vichy regime to the Oldenstadt upon her state's founding. If every former Frenchman from Calais to Hal Jura had the mind of Mabir, the project of re-educating the people would be complete. It would only make sense to allow this exemplar to aid in the conscription of his compatriots to the good cause we fight for, that they might come to share his enthusiasm for who we carry Sigurd's sword and the Prometheus torch. The French have always loved their authors, a renowned French author eloquently extolling the virtues of a regime could not possibly achieve anything less than a successful incorporation of the French people into our system. Let every pupil in every school read and remember the wise words of Mabir. Ah, yes. And the... Uh, cooldown's expired. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. It's fine. I mean, we can do some more plans if we want to, but we're not going to do it anytime soon. Bonfire of the Vanities. With the liberation of the new Western territories, we have acquired millions of new books for our regular bonfire ceremonies where we cleanse the world of various debasements of purity of the written word. 
We are about to add the old French textbooks to a book burning list, but the Anna Nerba have contacted us asking to spare a significant selection of the old French history books, especially at the college level, feeling that despite the hebratic corruption of the material, some of the knowledge and research within it can still be of use to their historical researchers and archaeologists in return for taking these books off the list. They offer their skills in digging through archives and libraries to help us locate as many books on the French language, poetry, linguistics, and literary classics as possible. Burning all those would send a powerful message about the strength of conviction of the culture of Verbesserung's project and the death of the affet French culture and old favor uh, of old in favor of a new Burgundian identity. But is it really worth the cost of preserving potentially highly corrupted historical material that could mislead the researchers of Anna Nerba and expose young students to Jewish propaganda? Tell them that they can have their filthy screeds if they help us. Ooh, loyalty will go down in Vallon Pont Arc. So let's take a look. Vallon. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, we can convert some core culture. 21. Is adding malice to our support in the state. 68 is adding a bonus. So we want to do this one first. Growth rate, intelligence gathering. No, 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 no. Questionable still. That's fine. Any new developments here that we should really, really care about? Not really. No. Ooh, this one's Everall's getting a little high. Improve the infrastructure. Thank you. Anything else? Can you improve the infrastructure? Oh, good. They were made to build roads. Nothing there. Nothing there. More space? No. No. All right. Space? No. Oh. Oh. Yes. More building slots. Ah, uh, yes, thank you very much. Yeah, seriously, we, we've done too well. God, I, if, there's a, if there was a mechanic like this in Victoria 2, I would I would probably play Victoria 2 a lot more. <laughs> oh, boy. So, okay, so anyway, we're back here. And this is a Volon Pont de Arc, which is Volon Pont. So it's, it's already 100% loyal, so it's fine if we do that. Uh, tell the Ab Annenerba, well, we are concerned with Aryan future, not French past. More loyalty, which we already have. Why not hold it all to the fire? Lower by 10. Oh, yeah, hold it all to the fire. I don't care. Susceptibility goes down, but we all want more national daddyism. Adding a malice. So what we should do? We'll lose this poverty rate. Actually, what's the poverty rate? Going up by 0.5. Not bad. Um, convert culture. I don't want a malice to our support. How do we get more support? Mass arrests become more unpopular. Evero becomes more. Uh, I don't want to become more unpopular. Ooh, Paris will gain and lose. Eh. Mm, the end. Ease SS fears. Education Chris will receive a bonus. Uh, actually, we could probably do this one. Let's do this one. Ease SS fears. And then we get... Even though we get more loyalty... Uh, that's that's loyalty, though. We already have enough loyalty. I don't mind the poverty. I really don't mind the poverty rate. Uh, a successful investigation? Very good. Very good. Authorantizit? Not bad. Ooh. Good. I'm gonna grab some of this too. Okay, so now the bonuses. Oh, at least this one's a bonus. Go and do this one first. Convert Vichy. Uh, we get a small mouse. I mean, we had bonuses to everything else, so that's not too bad. Go and do poverty relief. No, mass arrests. We can get some more stability that way, but poverty rate. Ah, screw it. Burgundy's gonna have the best poverty rate here in all of Europe. And we'll do authoritantizatet. Becoming something more than a splinter state of the Reich, the SS Oldenstadt Bürgen must be faithful to itself and to what it holds dear. The state and its people must be as one in their defiance against the persistent influences of Bolshevik and American plutocratic ideas, but also to the idea that we are merely an extension of our eastern neighbor. The foreign ideologies of all those who exist beyond our bounds are a cancer to the heart and lungs of the Burgundian parent personhood. Infesting our insides and weakening us from where we are least equipped to fight back. The only way to prevent these spiritual tumors from overwhelming us is to excise them. Without pause or mercy, we are not French. We are Burgundian to say otherwise is an anathema and to be forbidden. We do not belong to the Reich. We belong to the Reichsphere SS. To say otherwise is an anathema and to be forbidden. Every man, woman, and child within the boundaries of our state must be entirely loyal to our state alone and to the humanity-saving ideology of the National Socialism to which it adheres. To be Burgundian is to be Burgundian alone, authentically. If you cannot devote yourself wholly to the cause, you will condemn yourself Holy to the grave. Oh, we can gain more loyalty. Well, I mean... Uh, 21, mass arrest. Uh, we're kind of doing a... You know what? A little bit of, of malice. That's fine, whatever. Nice. Is there a culture map mode in the in the mod? I would love to see a, like a fat culture map mode so you can see the culture all over the place. Because someone did ask me before, like, what's a culture in Slovenia? A Kranish? Product of German colonization? Nice. Where we're going, the GDP doesn't matter. The debt doesn't matter. 
Wait, so which area was it here that has still French culture? That's a trick question. Nowhere. <laughs> the end, my friends. We eliminated French culture from the recently acquired territories. Ha ha ha. Even though I would like to get better poverty, please. Oh, wait. If you do mass arrest, you get more national indoctrination. Sure. And now we can just spend it to get raise our loyalty. You know what? Raise loyalty. Good. And dealing with the legions. The threat of overmighty servants is a plague that has hair to four, befallen all great nations, and though the legions and their generals are surely loyal in their fealty to national socialism and to the Reichsführer SS, their size presents challenges to ensuring that this will always be the case. The Charlemagne Legion are particularly perhaps too proud of their French ancestry. They must be made to always remember that they are each and every one of them Burgundians, not Frenchmen. Perhaps thinning their numbers of the least true-hearted of them might encourage the rest to be more forthright in their devotion to the Aryan race. Nice. Charlemagne Langemach. Oh, we can blackmail them too. Increase officer capacity. Might as well, right? Um, hmm. We don't have enough of them. Oh, look, they're obedient. Oh, wait, does that... No, it still hurts us. Legion loyalty is still pretty bad for us. So, I don't like that. Education crisis. Yeah, it is what it is. Whatever. Yeah, I don't understand that. Like, even now, what? What's in a name? The citizens of Orleans uh, clapped intensely as a new sign reading Rataus de Arostat was unveiled at their city hall. Much of the perturbation and disgust of the older generation, some of the young teens and children seemed to genuinely be excited. After an evening of feasting on beer, verse, and sauerkraut on the Himmler Platz, the collaborators of Arostat went home full of food for the first time in months and with a slight buzz of alcohol for the first time in even longer. All across France, similar stories played out again and again. Monsieur, Merol Vexkron, Stefanstadt, cities, streets, places were all transforming into indelible remainders of the regime to thunderous applause, yet nobody shouted or rioted. Very few dared even protest silently by averting their eyes. Welsh women in black patrolled along the and black patrolled along the sidewalks atop the buildings surrounding the plazas. Along the paths of the parks, there would be no chaos, no insurrection. As the sun set on the dark heart of the black spot of Europe, there were few reminders that this place was once known as the City of Lights, an oppressive darkness insured by the rationing of electricity and the poor quality of bulbs in the streetlights, yet the buildings of the government still blazed with light. The last vestiges of the city of old government, of, of old, yet at the same time the heralds of, of its funeral. For the celebrations and the government buildings that night were those of the men that had killed old friends. Only a handful of locations were the officials of government, not enraptured by the rations of beer and the blazing of film projectors showing the final wave of German renamings. One such place was a minimally decorated conference room, in which a committee quietly voted to scrap a renaming proposal for Paris for fear of the for that one being too humiliation too much for even the untermesh to bear. And in a different building, an even more Spartan office, a pale aging man finished his paperwork, eager to leave Paris and return to his home in Elsass. He looked at his wall clock and then at the new map he had been delivered that day. The Reichsführer read the names and smiled. Soon the last lights would go out. They're loyal, loyal, and obedient. I mean, increase their arm sales? We're going to need to do that. How many uh, supplies do we have right now? And we don't have enough political power to do anything yet, so 17 supplies is not nearly enough. Pretty darn good, I'd say. Blackmail them. So, can we get anything above loyalty? Can, like, can we go... I don't know. Loyal is still pretty good, so... Mass arrests. Oh, we're just going to arrest people for fun. Uh, raise their loyalty even more, then. Why not, right? Might as well. And I do want to see what's the end of this focus sheet. I know we got to focus on this other stuff. The future secured. But... Still, our Germanic heritage. The Empire of the Franks grew uh, from what is now the Oldenstadt conquered itself west and east became the predecessor of the two brother nations, Germany and France. These two countries' siblings' rivalry would be the primary feature of the history and politics of Western Europe for over a millennium. Through the many wars fought between these brothers, they cultivated a sense of themselves as something necessarily opposed to one another. They became defined by the mutual opposition and mutual hatred to each other. The day the SS raised a flag over the Roman Burgundy, the birthplace of the brother nations of Western Europe, was the beginning of the final days of this petty rivalry. The fierce victory over the West Franks might have been a lasting one which answered forever the winner of the brothers quarrel but now the time has come for the animosity to be set aside and for the victor and defeated alike to recognize a common germanic heritage the descent of the french from the same conquerors that spawned the ancestral precursor states of the reich belies the ability of the french to be incorporated into a new reich if should if we should but it will but will it be to be so 
Oh, more loyalty to the French? Well, we're already done, but the balloon, balloon. Faced with a persistent problem with the demi-French balloons, the KVP, the RHSA, and the OKW are collaborating around developing a re-education program to help Arianize the balloons and secure the ideological purity of the new balloon SS members. However, we've faced a challenge in the form of the current balloons members of the Staffel. We have no excuse for re-educating them, even if the SD and RHSA Office 7th are convinced of ballooning disloyalty in the balloons legions. Two strategies have been formulated for dealing with the disloyal elements. The OKW wants to send them on a permanent and anti-partisan campaign across the Oldenstadt with minimal resupply and reinforcement. That should thin out their ranks pretty heavily in just a few months, leaving the survivors unable to organize any sort of effective resistance to our control and giving us an excuse to promote freshly educated and loyal officers. The RHSA, however, views this as a too slow and a waste of manpower and potential to root out the, the, the disloyal networks. They instead propose fabricating charges against a selection of personnel seniors or senior personnel, and after their mock trials and definitely not mock executions, we will then have all the excuse we need to conduct a few review of the Wallonian legions, arresting those who need arresting and sending the rest of re-education and ideological compliance checks. Whose methods should we pursue? The OKW is right. Let's hit both the balloons and the resistance at once. Or, sub subtly T is key in preserving the maximum amount of resources. Hmm. Loyalty will be raised. I do like loyalty, though. Even though it doesn't really matter too much, but... Sound with me. Not bad. Not bad. And then the French are not German. Harsh conversions. Versus our old brothers. 20 indoctrination. So we don't need indoctrination, so the French are not German. Regardless, we do not desire the prospect of the assimilation of such a massive quantity of bodies into a new nation state, one which they identify themselves by their opposition to as a prospect too daunting to warrant. We are a powerful state with armies and weapons that are frightening to cowardice all enemies who would dare to stand against us, but we are not workers of the miracles. Our resources are better spent on maintaining our strength and security and on improving our access to important food and oil products, not on grandiose designs of convincing every French peasant not to call himself a Frenchman anymore. It is loyalty and effective, diligent labor that we expect from our people. It does not make any difference that some of the workers might speak in, a, in their indigenous tongue, so as long as the words they utter are not ones of sedition. I mean, if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. We're long lost brothers? I don't know about that. We have too many degenerates in our ranks. Mass arrests? Might as well. Why not? Uh, oh, wow, that's not really good. Work supply is not good. Blackmail them? Eh, we're kind of okay. Increased intelligence gathering. Counterintelligence of these guys. Suspicion will decrease, but I don't want to lose stability, like I said. That's pretty good. Um, over here, yeah, Normandy's not looking too good about this stuff. I've been ignoring this for a while now, I think, for the past few... Oh, look at that. That's pretty bad. Throw them back into the Rodomo. And over here. Good. Yeah, you guys had time to get a lot more guys here. Too bad they're all being relocated here. Over here, nope, not too bad. Over here. There you go. Just stack the bodies. They'll be alright, they'll fit. Oh, we can activate this stuff. I don't think so, though. Millions of dollars, no one cares. It's fine. The Vest Fest. On paper, the Vest Fest was a good idea. Many French men in the newly occupied regions stuck to the traditional form of cooking despite their limited access to ingredients from the rations. Too many times have the garrison soldiers uh, of the newly rechristened or rechristened Sainte France walk through the small town smelling the distinctly un-German smells of brioche or baguette. So I want to introduce them to the world-famous German kitchen. Standard and Führer Karl Warheim had figured German food was, after all, universally recognized as the best in the world. Karl's not entirely sure how this planet ended him here, in a labor camp alongside thousands of Untermensch, who would probably have got him killed in his sleep if not he had successfully passed for Dutch due to his Wilhelmshaven accent. He stared onto the bottle of gruel and tried to pinpoint the time where things had gone wrong. When his initial efforts had failed due to being unable to find the Required amount of meal, meat. Carl had written to Paris, to the head of the Schulungsamt, himself, to ask if he could get support for his cultural festival. Was it they, where he had gone wrong? It couldn't be. He had gotten approval for requesting the meat from the WVHA regional office. How was it he had chosen not to report the sudden disappearance of local livestock before the festival? No, everybody knew that surprise confiscations were how meat was usually obtained following the cessation of food shipments from the Reich. That left the only other mistake he could think of, failing to keep the Vest Fest as local secret. On the day of the festival, endless lines of people showed up to the... To Beg the confused youths Carl had been put behind the counters for meat, for beer, for even sauerkraut. 
Carl couldn't say when the fight had started. The line was so long it almost reached the next village over. Darned Untermensch. He should have never had trusted them to appreciate German food. When the Ostapo man showed up half an hour later and unleashed the cargo, it was with their usual rapid efficiency. Carl had been arrested the next morning while trying to organize some locals to help the garrison hose off the streets. Darned Untermensch. The sound of a baton and a bell signaled to Carl that dinner was over. He quickly shoveled the last spoonfuls of gruel into his mouth before getting back into line. The worst feast. The worst, worst, worst of things. But the French are not German. As much as we might believe so, or want to believe so, it is unfortunate that they have been too corrupted. They are too gone. Too forlorn gone. A pleasant chat about history, though, my friends. So you're saying that Jews set out to sabotage Ludwig de Fromm because they feared the strong Christian commitment of him and his father, Karl de Grossa? The historians of Al Alnenerba, Middle and Newer History Institute voice of affirmation almost in unison and enraptured in a strange mix of awe, terror, pride, and unpleasant sur surprise at the good mood and friendly demeanor of the Reichsführer SS, who was sat snugly in a reclining chair in the Paris office, sipping a cup of Glauwein. They had heard Dr. Kaiser, the de jure superior with his position as head of the Office of Education and Culture, who would be dropping by to discuss the proposed changes to the KVP's history curriculum reforms. But they had not expected Heinrich Himmler, of all people, to tag along from the emergency meeting from which he had brought him to Paris. The good doctor himself sat silent and seemed terrified in the corner, but the Reichsführer did not notice, smiling from ear to ear and flipping through one of the Abba's textbooks. Remarkable, remarkable! It is so good to put aside the time to speak with men of true skill and vision in the intellectual sphere once more. It has been too many years. I spent many a moment between meetings be recently reflecting on this shared era in history which we... We had with the Franks before becoming so French. Brilliant work, this book gives even some glimpses of the era after the French destroyed France. But did I just see passage stating Nostradamus might have been an agent of the Jews? The room finally fell silent, everyone present replying the last sentence in their minds and trying to gauge whether the Reichsführer approved or not. Eventually, Dr. Kaiser cleared his throat. That is a reigning scientific opinion, mein Führer. He noticed a fa smile fading from Himmler's eyes. But you're in luck. This particular question has been of historical interest for some time. And so Dr. Herbert have recently commissioned a study on just this subject, haven't you, Karl? Dr. Karl Herbert's eyes shot daggers at Kaiser, but he smiled at the Reichsführer and nodded. Indeed I have. I very recently approved a student's postgraduate thesis proposal for the question of Nostradamus. Himmler leaned back in his chair, smiling again, and the room drew a quiet sigh of relief. History is such an interesting topic. Man, this is, this is nuts. This is nuts. But a lineage secured. We have toiled many hours and expended many of our resources in man, material, and time to ensure that the future lineage of the Oldenstadt is safe and secure. At long last, our toils have come to an end. The people being taught the truth of the world they observe and around them and what happens beyond it and the natives of the lands we have rightfully conquered have shown some evidence of coming around to the right point of view. <clears throat> Concrete improvements are not of importance here, so it is of little worry that we do not observe many. What is important in truth is that our lineage, the most crucial of all things, is secured for generations to come. As generations pass, we can only grow purer and stronger. And as the years go on, every soul across the Oldenstadt will eventually be saved and brought around to national socialism and to the supremacy of the Aryan race. We have purified our bloodline. We've won. Our ability to convert the French will be put to the test. Well, I don't know about you, but I think we've already converted a lot, a lot of them. At least the culture there is truly Burgundian. Good. And the uh, deficit's getting smaller and smaller. Oh, look at that. Not bad. We're slowly get, getting a little bit more fuel. A little bit. How many supplies do we have before I can do the next plant? We've only 22. we got to spend some time doing that. Obedient. Very good. Rodomo. Opioid hospitals. Very good. 295. Uh, uh, Sitcher Heights. Polizei. Not bad. Infrastructure. Space. Give me your uh, workers. Good. 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 God dang, we we I literally we literally decimated these guys so badly. As we should. We're almost nice and full. You can take out some of these guys. Actually, there you go. You got 45 left. So with those 45 people left in there, you know what to do with them. Actually, that's really bad. There you go. Actually, there you go. Can you improve any more infrastructure maybe in Gross Round Paris? No? Okay. Anything here? 400. You can have a few more guys if you want. Five. Um, I did five. I prefer five just because it's a nicer number. 500. Very good. And anything here? Anything here? Anything here? Nope. We're looking pretty darn good. Not going to lie. Pretty darn good, I'd say. That German efficiency. I swear to God, man. That German efficiency. Blackmail Charlemagne. We don't need to do that. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that, but that's okay. Okay, let's see. Mass arrest? Might as well. We have plenty of national indoctrination. I wonder how high we can get this. They're both loyal, so, I mean, we're pretty good. Drop them off there. Improve the infrastructure, clear some more spaces. It's fine. 
All right, so I we, we need to keep doing this. We need to raise the neighborhoods. Oh, that one too. Uh, let's go and do this first. How are we already in 54 minutes into this video? I mean, my goodness, I'm enjoying this too much. I think I have a problem. But it's all right. Oh, division all around. Look, look at that. That stuff is still, still there. Not bad. All right, draft the list. I think we should, we really need to start doing some of this stuff. Uh, bru final brutalist tier of cities. Ooh. Oh, that's not going to be bad. Uranium mines. We need more workers. We need more workers. So, uh, but let's find the locations first. As convenient as it would be, bunkers cannot be built everywhere. They are, those too close to the city become prime targets for enemy sabotage, not to mention the risk of damage by nuclear blasts. This need for rural, uh, rural settings, plus environmental conditions that are conductive to underground construction in the first place, significantly narrow down potential construction sites. However, necessity is the mother of innovation. Very nice. They're still obedient. We love it. And if they're not obedient, well, we got ways of making them obedient. And let's make a few more mass arrests. Working around the atomic clock. Plots of land across the olden Stadt from small farms in Picardy to Alpine or, uh, valleys in Jura have been requ requisitioned for a far nobler purpose, and crews of laborers already dig deep pits and cor pour concrete under the watchful eye of the silent guards. Despite some initial roadblocks, the SSVWA has taken over its duties admirably in their management of what they call, or now dubbed, Niflheim. <gasps> Or Nilfheim. Facilities have been set aside for the construction of the attempted missiles, which can begin as soon as the SD agents embedded in the Reich's program are able to successfully transmit the schematics they've copied. Centrifuges for enriching uranium are running at maximum capacity, and their quality continues to meet the highest of our scientists' standards. There are even talks of moving up the schedule for the centrifuge construction to keep up with the demand, unsurprisingly. The Reichsfeer SS has been overjoyed with the news and has ordered that the all-ahead-of-schedule developments as be accommodated as soon as humanly as possible. Soon we shall stand tall, alone, and un- Stoppable. And which up next, as much as I want to do this stuff with a solution and stuff like this, and as much as I want to do that stuff too, I think it's time to just keep pushing on for a little bit, at least for now, a little bit more for nuclear silos, but draft the lists. The foundation of the Aryan race is selection. The wheat is separated from the chaff, and only those who improve the Volk are allowed to survive and flourish. The Reichsfeer SS plans allow for so many opportunities for culling the weak, the first of which concerns who is able to enter the bunkers in the first place. Although there are already lists of people considered to be a prime Aryan breeding stock, the list must be further pruned by considering skill sets, loyalty to the party, roles within the SS and the Oldenstadt, and other important factors to determine usefulness to the Volk. Very good. And then Project Bergentrucken. Bergentrucken. Very good. And But first, let's go grab some of this stuff as well. 67. It is year 1967, which is pretty good. Um, special forces. We don't. We have a lot of tanks. Uh, I'll get some upgrades for our tanks because even though we're not releasing them too much, but that's okay. The locations have been finalized. The plans have been approved, and now the ground must be broken. Not just for the bunkers that will save the Aryan race from certain death, but also for the tools that will deliver a swift end to the lesser races of the world. Time is of the essence. The sooner that these are finished, the sooner the Rexfer SS's vision may be fulfilled. Prepare for the future. Oh. A worse academic base. I've actually never read this one, so we'll read that soon enough, but prepare for the future. Architects and engineers who helped design and construct the extensive fortifications of the Grenzschad have been brought in to oversee the con construction of the missile silos, and already their effort is paying off. No fewer than 23 potential improvements in design, from the location of hinges for the door silos, as well as the shape of the in, in the concrete of the blank in the concrete, have been discovered in the first week alone. Thankfully, none of the missile silos had progressed far enough in the construction where the design was irreversibly set, so the changes were easily incorporated. The scientists also got the opportunity to pour over the data from our nuclear experiment, where several concrete test structures have been replaced in varying locations around the site before detonation. By cross-referencing this with other non-nuclear concrete stress tests, as well as p uh, filtered or pil pilfered German test results, they've determined that nothing short of a direct attack by a ballistic missile on the door silo, silo doors will be able to compromise their functionality. Furthermore, if American and Japanese missiles are anything like the German ones, the precision to strike directly something less than 5 meters wide is non-existent. When these missiles are ready, they will be merely impossible to dislodge. Better killing underground, but worse academic base. One finds in all fallen civilizations a common pattern. One might expect this to be a collapse in agricultural growth, or perhaps a decrease in population, or even the toppling of monarchs, the beginning of a populist revolt. However, these all tend to be symptoms. When civilization falls, one thing seems to have disappeared or wiped off the map. Tablets and scrolls and codexes are the carriers of knowledge. The shepherds of civilization simply stop being printed or produced. The reason is quite obvious upon any thought. A vicious cycle. In times of hardship, the elite stops funding or stop having the ability to fund literacy. And when this happens, the stores and information gleaned from literacy dines out. Men no longer know when to plant the crops, who to pray to, even why they should subject themselves to authority. It is upon this terrible beginning that the Romans, the Mayas, the Hittites, and even... The empires of today found themselves crumbling. When literacy dies, society goes along with it. Oh well. But I, I'm not sure if I addressed the comments yet. 
But uh, there's a lot of people who want me to play as a Delvanga Brigade. As well as, don't forget about, like I said earlier, the French uh, tree regarding the culture, which we've already done. So, we do have 100 political power. Um, I think we already did all this stuff already, mostly. Uh, Mio, Mio, whatever it's called. There you go. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. We'll take a lot of you guys off your hands. Actually, can you prove it? Yes, we can. Over here, improve infrastructure, clear spaces. Expand the camps. Nope, we already maxed out on camps. Expand the camps. Oh, yes, please. There you go. You can stock them back up. And Rodomo's looking pretty good. Very fully stocked. Blackmail. How's oh, the investigations going? So, suspicion is zero. Walloon. I really don't like the Walloons, but look at this. The leader's signal. If you'd like to read about this, please go ahead. We have three options. Find the transmission. Look into the officers who are also on the secret channel, or what they might know. Confiscate the radios. Confiscate the equipment. We don't want to do that. That could disturb our ability to get information. Find the transmission source. Look into who received it. Let's find the source. There you go. I really do not trust the Walloons. The, the Charlemagne division, so be it, but still. Not bad. And we could do another plan, but we still only have 27 supplies, so we got to work on ourselves a little bit more. And I decided not to work any more on refiners, because we're still making enough fuel for now. So, it's not much, but I think it's good enough for now. The Agents of Destruction, hiding the silos. Yeah, we probably want to do that one. Ooh, nuclear stockpile goes up. Yes, the Agent of Destruction. The silos are our salvation, and the tool with, through which the Reichsphere SS's vision shall become reality. Their importance cannot be understated, and the protection cannot be anything short of absolute. There can be no room for petty partisanship or the subversion of regionalists, and nothing in heaven or heck can be permitted to stop these from being built. Very good. The order shot strikes back. The only way to fully ensure our safety as a nation and as a race is to develop a second strike capability. The <clears throat> essentially the essentiality of this move cannot be understated. While we are fully confident that the entirety of our nuclear stockpile will be able to fire in spite of every city in SS Command Center's destruction, we're not truly safe from our enemies. Our theoreticians have already outlined the ideal structure for the most extensive nuclear program we can afford to give in our budget. Although we do not have yet the technology sufficient to carry it out, that can be easily acquired, and we have the resources necessary to implement it. The Reichsführer has looked over the plans and improved them all from bunker system command hierarchies to ways of communicating launch orders in the event of an enemy first strike, saying that they must be implemented with all the due haste and attention to detail. All future nuclear devices and developments are to be handled by the newest head of the SS bureaucracy, Hydra, the SS Vernichungswaffenamt, which shall also take charge of the stockpiling and storage of all physical materials, biological and chemical weapons, and experiments deemed to be of the unique military interest. We have the knowledge. All we need are the tools. Hmm... More supplies. More supplies. More, 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 more. And 105 is not bad. Max them out. 3100 is not bad. Uh, I should probably actually keep looking at this place just because eventually we will need to keep a stronger eye on these places, but as it stands for now, pretty darn good. Hmm. Actually, you guys could use a few more guys too. Yeah, 400 is pretty good. Ah, lower by level. There you go. Here. That's more guys. Cool. Base bleed. Hopefully we don't get any more conflicts, but you never know. Alright, land auction we've already done. Uh, naval stuff, heavy aircraft, normal fighter stuff. Eh, gets a better jet cast because we can. And hiding the silos. The ancients believed that in warfare, it was wise to appear weak to enemies so that they would be unprepared for your true military might. And, as they often were, the ancients were right today. French spies, American planes, nosy German inspectors, Breton smugglers, and Swiss surveillance all pose the risk of uncovering the silos and revealing our intentions. Obviously, this cannot be allowed. Blackmail them? Well, I think we're okay. Increase more monthly officers? Why not? Mass arrests? I really wonder how much loyalty... I guess obedient is the most we can get, so there's no point doing it anymore, I guess. So, uh, For global plans, I mean, we could do them, but I don't feel like doing them yet. Nice. M silos for miles. The majority of intercontinental missile silos are now in place, and we have made sure to locate them in remote and less traveled areas to reduce the chance of them being spotted by the resistance or foreign spy planes. The missiles are gradually being dispersed along with trained... 
launch personnel on the warheads installed. One potential challenge is the native legions. As they present uncertain variable in our calculations as such, the Reichsfuhrer has decreed that the silo construction in the vast Audien's force and the brambles of the upper Lori Valley is to be kept discreet, and with the minimal information to the local strongmen about the ongoing construction and its purpose. No chances will be taken with this if we can avoid it. Good. Alright, up next, I think that's pretty good when we hide ourselves away. Expanding uranium production? Oh, that's good to do, though. That's really we At least want to get some sort of development for nuclear stockpiles, right? Just as a baker relies on a farmer to aid his livelihood, so does a missile rely on a mine. Enriched uranium does not grow on trees, and the lands of the Oldenstadt fortunately have enough to sustain a uranium mining operation. However, it can, be, it can sustain more, and uranium is needed more than ever. Watchful eyes, the unpaved forest road rarely hosted traffic, yet today there were dozens upon dozens of vehicles traveling along, along it. Trucks carrying personnel, open ones carrying gear and building materials, staff cars carrying senior officers, yet the most important of all the vehicles was slowly rumbling missile carrier, a huge and unmistakable shape on his back, albeit covered by a tar tarpaulin. Nobody in the convoy knew about the silent observers in the forest, studying them through the military binoculars and telescopes. The observers were all aware of, well, well aware of their, both their origin and cargo and destination. The well-hidden, newly constructed missile cells deep in the forest, deep in the Flemish Ardennes, on Flemish soil, and the Flemish SS do not like secrets being kept from them on the Flemish soil. Langemach does not take so kindly to being left out digging holes. Brigade Führer Christian de la Mazière, head of the SS Division in Charlemagne, sneered at the construction workers and joined their cowering from his gaze. Remind me again why are estimes, estimes, comrades, comraderies, Allemandes desire to build these holes in the ground in our territory? His lieutenant, Charles Joseph, picked up on the hint and switched to the conversation from German to f French, gaining annoyed looks from the German engineer who had minutes earlier given up on chasing away the unannounced guests from the French Legion. They're silos, sir, to house atomic tip missiles with an intercontinental range. Truly the future. The future indeed, Joseph. If these are to house the missiles of our friends in Paris, I assume there is a reason the chief or the chef domain have not given up. Uh, even the slightest of word of the missile silos, nor these wondrous atomic devices, yet despite most of the holes being dug out months ago. I had a talk with the contact in Paris and Bruxelles ab just about that. I did wonder just the same, sir. Turns out the batard Flamand has been kicking up a fuss about just the same issue. He may have been having a bit of a scuffle with the chef domain. Good, then I wonder, boys, to just have as many concessions as a batard. Ericsson is not going to be the chef's little pet again. Make the arrangements. He turned to the engineer and switched back to German. Please, Herr Engels, explain to me more about the design of this silo if you want the best for all parties involved. Never leave out the French. Yeah, it is what it is, you know. The Grasping Hand. Oh, I think we should probably do that one too, because we spent a lot of time not enriching our uranium. So let's try to enrich it as much and as fast as possible now. So, I think that'd be pretty good. 3100 is pretty good here too. Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty decimated in some areas. Stirring to the French SS. There have been some concerns and increasingly insistent calls there from the HQ of the French SS Legion, Division Charlemagne, recently. Echoing complaints from Division Langemach, they demand immediate delivery of functioning missiles, equipment, and personnel for maintaining them, and immediate security control of the silos we've begun building in the regions under their control, citing potential imminent threats from the French state. The calls have been made clear that Charlemagne and its divisional head, Brigade Fierre de la Mazière, will take it as a direct insult if they are not trusted with the handling of nuclear materials. Well, obviously it would be a minimal risk for us to entrust Charlemagne with this, given their great loyalty to our cause, giving concessions to them risks inflaming tensions with Langemach. So, given Charlemagne's considerable position of power within the SS, and ensure the increasingly paranoid de la misere that we have no desire to challenge his position of authority, it seems clear that we must do our best to appease them. Build the nuclear reactors for Charlemagne? Okay. Sudden shortages. The Reichsfuhrer poured through the reports and ledgers from the audience construction site. They did not please him. He picked up a bell at his desk and rang it, causing his secretary to appear. Hedvig, are Eika and Pipe ready? Yes, Reichsfuhrer. Mein Herren, he's ready for you. Himmler rolled a pencil between his fingers, his narrow eyes staring into the air as the security chief and Leibstandart officer entered the chilly castle office. There's no need to say, gentlemen, my instructions to you are brief and simple. Something peculiar is occurring within our construction sites and the Ardennes. Missing equipment, materials, weapons for the garrisons, rocket fuel, and even the workers themselves at times disappear into the forest or from the train stations where they are unloaded. I believe one or more of our enemies are involved. I want the two of you, my best bookkeeper and most trusted soldier, personally on site to investigate. An office in Antwerp and a staff car have been set aside for you. You are to report to me in Heinrich Müller only. Any questions? Eika, the aging RHSA bureaucrat and the Waffen SS officer, raised an arm hesitantly. Thank you for this honor, mein Führer, Reichsführer, but I have one question. Will we be working alongside Buck Erickson of the SS Division Langemach on this matter? They have great resources in the region. Yes, a contact with the locals could come in handy. No, we have more qualified staff and they should not know about the silos. Hmm. If we tell them, then they're definitely going to know, and then they might do something. If we don't tell them, that'll piss them off. But they there's ways of making them more loyal, so we have more qualified staff.
I'll call in the night. The Dark Spirit did not enjoy being walking, uh, woken up in the middle of the night, but he knew any call to his personal quarters would only be possible from about a dozen of his most trusted or important lieutenants. Thus, his annoyance at being awoken well after even his own remarkably late bedtime was quickly replaced by giddy eagerness towards whatever global crisis would, could warrant his personal intervention, in turn fading to a soft horror as he realized it could be the crisis. The crisis. The plan was not ready, the aliens were not safe yet, he needed more time, at least a few more months. Sitting himself and banishing such unworthy angst, he picked up the phone of the ninth or tenth ring. You have reached him. What is it? Mine Reich's fear, I assume you can recognize my accent. It's Brett Erickson from Division Langemach. I know you. What is so urgent you need to wake me up? I have heard rumors about your men coming to Antwerp to investigate the loss of sensitive goods. Bringing in an investigative team from Paris, I would like to tell you that this is not necessary. Langemach already had the investigation well in hand. We have been on the trail of missing military gear and supplies for months. We believe it is the same thieves involved, resistance sympathizers. They should definitely come. Uh, we cannot risk any rebels getting their hands on these sensitive goods. With all due respect, Rex Europe, it would be highly dangerous and irresponsible for leading German officers to barge into a hotbed of terrorist activity and assassinations like Flandern. Not to mention it would be seen as an insult to Division Langemach if the leadership do not expect to really trust under Captain Terrace. Please, sir, we have this well in hand. Do not risk the stability of the Alden shot over some thefts. Have your men work with me instead. This can be resolved with local finesse. They are in charge. End of story. Seems to become more loyal to Langemach. I expect a full report by the end of the week. Hmm. No. End of story. No. Let's see. Uh, Walloon Legion loyalty. Ten. And Flandern. And, and ten in Picardin. Other than that, I mean, overall, it's all zero for them, so I don't care. Actually, are they still they're obedient and loyal, so that's the most important thing. Mass arrests? Oh, build the nuclear reactors. Oh, and the area is demanded by shark. Oh. Wait, where do they want? Ooh. Wait. Demanded. Wait, where do we build nuclear reactors then? I might, I don't mind doing this one, but uh, what does this take? The next four months is a long time. Uh, investigation seventy-five is pretty good. Walloon, I don't trust Walloon. I don't trust Charlemagne either. Oh, look at this! Promiscuous officers. Oh, it appears their phones are that picks up something interesting. Oh, look at that! But we can't investigate. Oh, that's not good. Do we have anything else here, maybe? Uh, install secret cameras. We tap the phone lines. Let's do install secret cameras, then. What about over here? Oh, look at that. And then what do we have over here? Oh, darn it. What is this? The lion's den. Wait, many thought he was still dead, and even after we learned that his death was fake, but now we have conclusive proof that de is alive and has hidden himself in a way in a complex located deep in the Ardennes, nicknamed the Lion's Den by our investigators. Its existence was only known to the upper echelons of Walloon's command, as well as the elite shock troops guarding it. Written off as an old stored shed on the imperial official maps of the region. According to our observers, who both watched the complex day and night and have begun digging into its history, de has been there ever since his escape, commanding the Legion secretly from behind its doors. He is constantly watched by a detachment of Walloon's best and most loyal men, who swear loyalty to him personally and represent the most fearsome fighting force outside our own ranks. While there's so much we do not know, one thing is for certain, the girl will not go without a fight, and any attempts to put him down for good should be planned carefully. Oh, he's still alive! Whoa, I did not realize that, but I kind of figured he would be still alive. Um, I don't know where to build the, the bunkers, then. Where do we build uh, the stuff? Arm sales? I mean, we can do that one. We only have 37 supplies, which is not bad, but still. Um, There's that. It, it literally doesn't tell you where to build the nuclear reactors, though. Uh, I am at a loss right now. Um, demanded by Charlemagne. I don't know where to build them. I'm, get, uh, I'm not really sure, so I'm going to say... Uh, don't do that. Flandern, maybe? That takes a while, though. I mean, that literally takes until next year, so... I'm not really sure. 
Coconut Theft Preliminary Report. Buck X in a division long and welcome from the last night at 2311. MEZ soldiers from his division stormed the last of the six, six known hideouts of the terror group known as the Red Knight. 14 terrorists were killed in the ensuing firefight, bringing the total number of liquidated terrorists and sympathizers in the proceedings of the investigation to 203. 16 crates of rifles and computer panels were seized. The remaining supplies are yet to be located, but three terrorists were caught alive. Two of them sadly expired on scene due to wound sustained, and the last suffered a heart, fatal heart attack after a mere 17 hours of questioning. The interrogator has been reprimanded for overseeing for over eagerness. Still, the suspect revealed the location of the remaining supplies was with a man called Pierre from Nantes. Division Langemach will put all the available resources towards locating the suspect and terminate him and potential buyers of the missing items with extreme prejudice. At least we found some of them. Oh, building the bunkers. I do want to. Uh, I, I want to get over here quickly, but I do want to do this because Degrel is still alive, which is not good. Not good, man. Uh, the grasping ham. I think we gotta do that one. Now that the ground has been prepared, the construction of the bunkers themselves may begin in earnest. No expense shall be spared, and no corner shall be cut. For those, for this, these is no wiser investment than one in the future of the Aryan race. We shall be like the farmers of old, sowing the lands of the Oldenstadt with the seeds of the future. France goes in isolation. Good for them, as they should. The Commonwealth. Oh God, the Commonwealth. Disgusting. Good. A successful investigation. Dead end, huh? That's not good. Um. Yeah. Not bad. You know what? I don't mind doing this, son. More construction for that. They're lo obedient, loyal, and stuff like that. That's good. Good. Raise the neighborhoods. I kind of want to do that, too. But I want to build up some bunkers, too, so... Preparing for the new beginning. Now that the ground has been prepared, the construction of the bunkers themselves may begin in earnest. No expense shall be spared and no corner shall be cut for those no wiser... I think I already read this one. Uh, no wiser investment than one in the future of the Aryan race. We shall look like the farmers of old, sowing the lands of the oldest shot with the seeds of the future. Did I read this one too? Yeah, no, this is the exact same one. The grasping hand. String geheim. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Expanded bunker design. All holdings will gain 100 XP. Upgraded ventilation research. Finalize the evacuation plans. Um, heat integration is nice, but what is this all about? Uh, hey, less than four billion, not bad. Slowly improving our economy. Seriously, we get a righteous, unrighteous fury, like a fine oiled machine. But once we do, of course, preparing for the new beginning. With the completion of the last of the land-based missile silo system, the SSVWA has spent the last several weeks coordinating with all bunkers through the, its nerve center in Os Paris. At random times throughout the day, they would send out signals simulating both strategic and tactical nuclear attack warnings, measuring each base's response time to launch what is ironically dubbed the preemptive second strike. The results were nothing short of impressive. The average time from orders received to launch sequ sequence completely decreased by more than half, with the quickest facility crew being able to theoretically prep and launch their arsenal in under 10 minutes. Their bases have also been fully stocked, secured phone and telegraph lines have connected the bases with both off Paris and their neighbors and the commanders have been briefed on procedures of contact with the SSVWA. Main HQ is lost. With these final preparations, all official system-wide drills have been concluded. The next time that the boys in the bunkers receive firing orders, it'll be for real. Godspeed. Expand bunker designs. But after we do some signal companies, shall we? Yes, we shall. Or let's get that one done. We have the time, we have the resources, we have the manpower, and definitely have the will, so why not? Every fit and genetically viable Aryan who is saved is one more guarantee against the extinction of the human race's finest. It also saved the Reichsfeer SS and his staff from making uncomfortable choices about which racially pure loyalists to the National Socialism deserve priority within the group. Nice. Um, uh, more, more mass arrests. We're gonna need more workers. Anything else here? Not too much. Shove them in, boys. Shove them in. There you go. Even more supplies for now. We lost a lot of political power, but we'll so be it. And do we get things about bunkers now? Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. We have zero, spent zero million Reichsmarks. We've used no manpower, stored no infantry equipment. 
Uh, to ensure the success of our plans, we have to spend vital and necessary resources on the construction and upgrading of bunkers across the state. Three key things that will need to be attended to in each of the Legion's bunkers that will properly prepare them for the future as well as maintain their loyalty to Himmler, weaponry, food, and more, and the construction of more bunkers. The three key elements will all have their ex own XP. Once meeting a certain threshold, will level up, granting us the ability to map our nationwide Himmler loyalty bonuses. Each level of key element represents gains as a level up for each of the SS Legion's bunkers, which will eventually reach max level and therefore unable to be upgraded further. 3333 three, three, three. Himmler. Wow. Construct the bunkers. Um, sure, why not? Arm the bunkers. Lose 100 million for monetary reserves. I mean, I don't really care. Just do all they can. Project Hodmanshot and Liftsrasir. With the initiation of the next phase of the Odenshot's atomic weapons plans, Office 11th of the RHSA has entered into collaboration with the Ananerbaz Nuclear Physics Institute and the SS WVHA Office C, Buildings and Works. The resulting Joint Committee for Aerial Survival has activated pre assigned resources for conducting people's Hodmanshot Holt and Liftsrasir. Project summary and status as follows Project Holt Minus Holt, the surveying stage one, mine work stage two, and the concrete stage work, concrete work stage three. A pre-selected sites in the northwestern and western alpine regions to ensure the protection of high value military and civilian racial assets in the event of global thermonuclear devastation. Outfitting stage four, camouflage stage five, and connection to rail and road stage six to follow. Status stage one complete, stage two in progress. Project Lift. Hrasir. The shifting of the pre-selected non-essential personnel to the Alpine region to reduce transport strain stage 1 to the construction of high-speed and underground rail lines from Paris and other key cities to Alpine bunker stage 2. The deployment of Faraday cages to network to shield from potential EMP effects stage 3. Notifying pre-selected personnel situation and procedures in order of declining importance stage 4 to 6 to follow. Stage 1 is in process. We must race time to save our race. We're putting a lot of things up here. Cool. I still need to, I should probably activate some more plans. Upgraded ventilation systems? Reduce the time it takes to upgrade our holdings. Oh, finalize evacuation plans. The bunkers, however, are pointless of the plan to fill them is incomplete. Who is worthy of survival and how they will reach salvation are both secrets which must be kept closely guarded by those close to the Reichsführer SS. The unworthy may try to and slip in a desperate way to save themselves, and the egocentric among them may take offense to their exclusion from the list. Very good. Oh, let's go and fix that up. Because that helps get some more PP every single day. Every single day is going to be super, super important to do that. Finalize the evacuation plans, my friends. Alright. Arm sales. I mean, we, I want a lot of supplies, but... That's a cost of $300 million. Eh, might as well. What, co what corners can we cut? What, do we really want to cut corners? Oh, look at this. Um, let's take a couple of these guys out. Oh, that's not really good here. There you go. 700 is pretty good. Nice. Actually, can you put any more in there? And then... There you go. That'll be good for a while. Inf infrastructure good. Over here. Good. Over here. Nice. Put some more in. Good. Give me all you guys. Anything else around here before we read that little event over there? Um, 30. I don't like 30. That's fine. Oh, now they have only four guys. Eh, put some more back in there. Over here, 200. Oh, that's not good. There you go. Over here, anything, 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 anything? Nope. Over here, nope. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. And ruin. Shove them all in there. Good. What corners can be cut? <clears throat> Please listen. Vilna groaned near the phone. No, I won't shut up. I worked on the Vadamt Gibraltar Dam. I'm not some Italian bridge engineer, Hans. You have to listen to me when I say we need a better budget. The shelters are not going to be secure unless we. Yes, fine. Thank you. Please send it up the line and call me back tomorrow. Yes, after lunch. Thank you. Bye, Hans. Yes, I will say hello to my wife. Bye, Hans. Tell Heil Himmler Arschloch. 
The engineer hung up the phone, straightened his sweat-stained shirt collar, and left the temporary barracks serving as his office. He found his assistant checking off a list near the pit in the alpine hillside that would hopefully one day be the entrance of a bucker. Hey, Vanna, how did the phone call go? As expected, Eric, as, uh, about as expected. We want the concrete to be properly reinforced in those expanded storehouses of brass want. We need to appropriate the funds from another budget post. I'm thinking we could maybe cut the backup generator would save us a few million Reichsmarks. Should we really risk cutting such a crucial redundancy, sir? <clears throat> We've already stripped the reserve air filtration system from the plans. Look at it this way, Eric. I'm one of the top civilian engineers in Oldenstadt. If I haven't been offered a place in this little SS clubhouse, there's not a chance you will be, so why not just complete our job to build a darn bunker and get paid for it? And the off chance this place is actually needed, if any of the bunkers are needed, the world is already in the pits, and we'll have bigger concerns than if some bureaucrat's fan is working. Besides, the Hauptdamm bunker has a nuclear reactor, if I hear right, so nobody dangerous is going to sit pretty much here in this diesel-driven crap hole. Make the cuts, Jawohl, Herr Hauptding Junior. Wow. Uh, Mr. Himley is not going to like that, but c'est la vie. Yes, please. Make mass arrests. Nice ad. Someone's going to be really pissed off. An unrighteous fury. Ooh, national level is 12. Not bad. Division Charlemagne is already uh, being a hotbed of unrest and poor discipline after the controversy surrounding the Germanization of the new lands in the West has been totally outraged over our failure to ensure their equal access to nuclear resources. Rumors and reports from mass mutinies and barracks brawl continue to filter in from Charlemagne dominated regions and were able to effectively assert authority there. Uh, a leaked audio recording from a beer hall event seems to show that De La Maizière openly criticizing the members of the government for incompetence and distrust of the Waffen SS, something practically nobody else in the Oldenstadt would ever dare to do. We need to patch things up with them sooner or later. It could still be worse. With 200, we need 300 more XP to level up this one. Alright, well, whatever. We'll do the best we can. Uh, blackmail. They're still loyal, so I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, Rodomo. Eh, maybe not always do Rodomo. Because we have enough there already here. Da, 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 da. We would like to spread, spread, not spread, but spread the police officers around. Wow, that's really bad. Uh, a little bit more, maybe. 30. There you go. And. Thank you. All right, go clear out space for buildings. Can you actually do this? Yeah, we can. All right, shovel man. Charlemagne silent. The division Charlemagne already being a hotbed of unrest and poor discipline after the controversies surrounding the Germanization of the new lands of the West. Um, actually, we already read this one, so at least it can't get worse. Nuclear stockpile or societal development will begin to worsen. Dangerous slots. Oh, that's not good. They're still loyal for now, but we'll see. The man in the iron fortress. Uh, actually, I think I've already read this one before. If you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. So, happy 1968. Couple investigations. 95, that's good. So, balloon. We can't do anything about this guy yet. How about over here, the Charlemagne? Promiscuous officers, we can't do anything for them either. That sucks. We have a car here. Unusual night activity looking. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Yeah, there you go. And then there you go. Sweep the area. Question the locals. Sweep the area. Sweep the area. Good. Dangerous sauce. Well, deep in the bowels of a silo, Brigade Führer Christian de la Maziera smiled to himself as he let his fingers stroke over the launch panel. This control room was simplistic and gray, not very French at all, but like everyone else in the room, his eyes was transfixed on the lead sarcophagus being slowly wheeled through the room. Maziera did not bother asking them to open it. They knew death was in that coffin. It had not been easy to acquire this, but finally he had the greatest trick up of his sleeve imaginable. Soon, Mazir whispered to himself, soon can lead to deadly outcomes. Well, that's not good. And we are going to have to de destroy the guy. The silos stand empty. The Odenstadt has had for years. Now, set as a global beacon of industrial success and prowess, as other nations falter and struggle, their industry is continuing to ebb and flow. The industries of the Odenstadt have only continued to provide increasing production metrics month in and month out. Yet it appears that such success has not been without a cost. Farmers were made to leave the fields. The plow was traded for the wrench, as a record number of our men labored in the foundries and factories across our domain. However, the silos will quietly begin to store less grain, for there was less grain to store. Yet we did not falter in our efforts, for the world is full of grain. Now and again, the silos would once again begin to grow empty, and once again, Again, the WVHA would simply secure further imports of grain from the Ukraine. Men could eat and return to their production lines a day in and day out, but the Ukrainian grain shipments have ceased. No longer due to trains full 
No longer do trains full of eastern grain top off our silos to feed the laboring men. Swiftly our silos began to empty, and there's simply no way to fill them again unless serious domestic actions is taken. For now, the situation is not yet forlorn, but upon the horizon looms a hideous famine which looks to put the plans of the Reichsfeeder SS at risk, and such cannot be allowed. We need to fix this. Now. Oh. Okay. Oh, boy. So we gotta really deal with Charlemagne, too, but, uh, new plan? Yes. Das Wirtschaftsamt. Oh, boy. Food for factories? Maintain our industrial capacity. Heading down this path will make it more likely our industry to survive intact, but also inevitably degrade our surveillance networks. Or food for those who matter. Uh, we must maintain control over our people. Heading down this path makes it more that we can uh, maintain our grip over the people. Also inevitably degrade our industrial capacity. It's worker pops to demand or consume us goods. Huh. Um, a simple ration. Population and growth will fall. Industrial access. Expand our domo silos. Fields of grain. Farms cannot be built in states that host brutal cities. Oh crap. Or establish priority lists. Forget outer circles. Loyalty uh, to the assets will decrease. Crack the whip. Increase outer cult puts. Reduce loyalty. Waste under one not. Um. I kind of want to do fields of grain. Which might, might not be bad. Uh. Let's see. So I'm got an. I, I might have put a lot of brutal cities down already. So I'm not really sure which one we should do. I'm sure the unworthy never received that, which they have not earned. Develop new fertilizers, yeah, that'll be kind of good. Um, I guess we should probably do Das Landwirtschafts Amts and maybe end the episode. Although the uh, Aryan race shall be able to live self-sufficiently close, or once all decadence has been purged from the Vaterland and the people have been inculcated with the true national socialist thought, we are not yet there. Unfortunately, the Oldenstrasse food supplies are going, undergoing a brief availability bottleneck, one that must be addressed through the creation of a new body to better manage these valuable resources. It has been stressed to the Reichs for SS that these measures are only temporary and will be reversed once the roadblock to Utopia is passed, but I hope you enjoyed this long video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will hopefully continue doing some global plans and doing very well with our bunkers. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.